What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome, Summoners. Now, first of all, I wanted to let you guys see this event thing they got going on. Um, it's pretty early in the morning here. Don't mind me. The Summoners War 50 million download event. Elias Invitation. In my terminology, it's the Wreck Face event. Because that's all you have to do is just wreck face and this starts november 11th which was this morning for me okay um dear summoner we invite you to a party to celebrate this great accomplishment that summoners wars have achieved bring our monster friends to share the joy various rewards await yeah 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 very very nice um be sure to invite and get participation stamps from our monster friends you can meet the monster friends at Dungeons and Scenarios, Trial of Ascension, Guild Battles, Arena, Secret Dungeon, and Hall of Heroes is excluded. Okay? That means if you do Trial of Ascension, this doesn't count towards the uh, this event right here. If you do Guild Battles, that does not count against this event right here. Or count for this event. If you do anything in Arena, that doesn't count for this event. If you do secret dungeons, it doesn't count for this event. What they mean by secret dungeon, that's Hall of Heroes. If it's somebody unlocks a secret du dungeon monster, anything secret dungeon doesn't count towards this event. And then the Hall of Heroes, like I just said. Um, the count will go up on real-time basis whenever you defeat a monster in battle. The count will stop once you've reached 5,000 defeats. <sighs> I'm angry that they didn't do this event while I was fodder farming, okay? Alright, um, so we scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's nothing extra, okay? So basically, if you beat anything inside of scenarios, each monster counts, including the boss counts, and anything normal dungeon stuff counts, which is a good thing, okay? 100 energy, or 50 energy, we'll collect that. Oh, why, why thank you. Alright, next up we're going to give up 50,000 mana stones. Y'all know Gambella be broke is all out of hell. So, I'm a mandatory be trying to get that one. Um, let's see, ooh, an XP booster. I think I want to try to get that one. That way I don't have to pay for no XP booster. 50 crystals. That 100,000 mana stones is delicious. I, I want that. Um, how many red crystals can you get total in this event? 250. 50 red crystals. Eh. I like. I like. So we're going to go test out. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, oh. Alright. Whoa. All sorts of hookup. Alright. Um. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I desperately need to fodder farm, okay? Alright, um, so, since I do a lot of fodder farming, basically, I'm gonna come here, oh, I was leveling up my Colleen, you know, um, I'm gonna bring my homeboy Zacharum, with his, uh, dark Ifrit, Pheromos, okay? Um, we'll bring Hung Hua. Actually, no. No, screw that. We're going to bring two fodder pieces. We're going to get the most out of this. I got to get her up. This guy. Ugh. I'm still working on him. Uh, let's work on a fodder piece. Fodder piece. Two star. I got to start sucking down some of these two stars. I got to get some of these puppies down, okay? But anyway. How have you guys been? How have you guys been? It's early in the morning, okay? So don't expect me to be super duper chipper like I always am. You guys got to give me a, a second to make the kids breakfast. Make myself either, get myself either an energy drink or make myself a cup of coffee, okay? I got I to gotta get up and rolling. The rain has basically rained me out of work. Um, I got to wait for the weather to dry up the roads and stuff because I do street road construction, okay? Uh, for tiger construction and when it rains we have to wait for so much of the moisture to get sucked out of the ground okay so 
Gam is waiting to get back to work. Gam don't know what to do with himself when he ain't working. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be, you know, doing my normal thing, man. You know, the kids are out of school. Apparently today is a holiday. Yeah. Um, it's not a holiday. It, like, if it wasn't raining and the rain didn't mess everything up for me, I'd still be working. We only get so many type of uh, holidays off. We get, like, uh, Labor's Day. We get... Christmas, 4th of July, um, Thanksgiving, we get holidays off like that. And that's kind of how it works. Because they pay us a big holiday check as well. So, we're not going to get all into that. So, doing one run with my friend Zachram. Let's see how much that progressed. Wait, let's going to put this down here. Let's see how much that progressed for us, okay? Oh, you guys all know about the Hall of Heroes. We'll get into that in just a second here. So we were at 147, so that bumped us up to 160, okay? So I gained, what, 13 kills in that meantime? I don't know if you guys, well, I don't know if any of you guys ever played PlayStation. Uh, I was once a trophy hunter. And they had this trophy for this game called Resistance 2 called, uh, well, basically it stood for, oh my God, what the fuck, barbecue. But it was uh, a trophy. You got to get 10,000 kills in online competitive mode. Insane. Like, everybody's trying to get that trophy. But basically that's how I feel, but I don't have to compete so much to get it. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing that, okay? So that seemed like an alright game. Um, Hall of Heroes. For all of you who have Trevor or who have any type of Neilstone fighter. Okay. It looks like we're getting hooked up. Now, I am going to try and make a team as close to farmable as I can to try to show you guys, at least in the second dungeon. I don't have the horsepower to do a farmable team in that third dungeon. Usually the third dungeons take every bit of strength I got. Okay, and sometimes I even have to auto it. But I'm just being honest. I'm not gonna fake it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to anybody. Okay, that third dungeon is hard. Okay, extreme difficulty. They, they are not lying. Okay, but anyway, I need one more skill up for my Trevor. And I wouldn't mind. This guy isn't so bad, okay? This guy isn't so bad. Um, he actually lands a whole lot of dots. And you can make him aggressive, supportish style. And make him a... He can be a B10 Dragons mod. And a B10 Giants monster. And, well, he, I, don't, I don't see it happen inside of Necropolis. But Giants and Dragons... This guy could be an actual tool for you if you don't have that many dragons and giants guys that leave dots. This guy leaves a lot of dots, and I'm going to show you why. Okay. Let's go down here. Come on. Where are you at? Ryan. Okay. Um, speed 107. That's not bad for somebody that leaves dots. Because you can put, like, violent focus on them, or you can go, just, you want to get a whole lot of accuracy on them as well, okay? Attacks a target enemy with daggers and increases your attack power for the next two turns. That attack power just works for him, okay? Um, attacks an enemy and inflicts continuous damage for two turns. This attack will also decrease the enemy's defenses for two turns if it lands as a critical hit. So, that's pretty interesting, okay? Um, I can see a decent build on him for dragons and giants. And plus, he has that armor break. That's not too bad, okay? That's not too bad. His third skill, swiftly attacks an enemy three times with each attack also dealing continuous damage for one turn. If this attack lands as a critical hit, it also disturbs the enemy's uh, recovery. 
for two turns. So you can stop him from healing. His HP recovery debuff, okay? You can stop him from healing. Plus he has two skills here. Two skills that leaves dots. Ugh. What would I do in a situation like that? Um... He doesn't have to be the most fastest thing, so you don't necessarily have to put him on um, swift. But violent wouldn't be so bad. I'd probably put him on. Uh, I'd say violent energy. You can go violent energy, uh, violent focus, either one, you know, or whatever you'd prefer, okay? But you got to look at it here. Um, or you can go Violent Revenge. Which also, well, no, not Violent Revenge. Because he doesn't leave any dots on the first skill. We're talking about a Giants and Dragons tool here. We want these two skills right here to land in as much as possible. So I'd say Violent re violent Energy. Because, you, I mean, you will be using him for dungeons. He's not there to, like a one-shot kill or anything okay he's there to leave dots inside of dragons and giants which i don't know if any of you guys have saw my videos i am like i am like addicted to leaving dots on monsters inside of the dungeons okay uh dots are very useful and it they help out a lot every time that mod that boss takes a turn or anytime any monster takes a turn he's taking damage from dots big time on top of what you're doing to him for your turns and stuff. So I'd say violent and I go speed, crit rate, okay? Speed, crit rate, accuracy. And me, I'd probably go I'd probably go uh violent energy. Me and myself personally. If I had this guy violent energy definitely for me. Speed, HP, accuracy. I want to get as much accuracy as I can. I want to stack on a little bit of health. Try to get some HP in the sub stats. Um, try to get a... I wouldn't be so big on the speed in the sub stats. Because I'll have speed on slot 2. Not too much I need to think about when it comes to ruining this guy. All I know is I can ruin him with some good stuff. Make him a little tanky. Try to get like... As much... Try to get, try to get some good HP on him. Okay? And then... I'd run him. I'd run him for dots. I definitely would. He he's he's a useful tool, okay? And he can also be a skill up. So first off, I'd say work on your skill ups. Uh save one of him to the side, but work on your skill ups. In my case, I happen to get lucky and pull a extra little couple extra ones. Um so I might I might build this guy. I might build this guy. And then he has this leader skill. Increases the attack power. Oh. Increases the attack power of allied monsters in dungeons by 33%. That means it's not elemental savvy, okay? That means that can work for any monster. That's quite impressive. I've seen some big leader skills, but they only work for certain ones. Uh, certain elements. His works for everyone. Increases the attack power of allied monsters in dungeons. And then he said monster trans. Oh, so he just gets he gets the leader skill when you awaken him, but yeah, that's that. Okay. Anywho, um, I will catch you guys later. Um, my defense ain't doing so 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 bad. Okay, I got a whole lot more successful. So my current defense is actually running kind of strong. I'm actually proud of it. But I will catch you guys in the next video. And we'll do an update on how we're doing in this in this event thing. Because we have to get a lot of things under wraps quickly here. Because guess what? Trial of Ascension refreshes in three days. And you know that's our event. I keep getting my butt kicked in that one. But I will catch you guys later. Alrighty.